You probably can't Irish dance to this. I to can, Jimmy Bohorn. I'm into it though. Yeah, pretty good. Nice beat. Yeah. That's all I need is a good beat. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna bust the move on the uh, the ship? I, now I don't even know what it's called anymore because Captain <laughs> Fun's <laughs> floating Fandango. <laughs> yeah. No, not a move. You're not. Gonna bust How about a move? nut? Yep, nut. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> Just picking up what I was laying down. Yeah. No, 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 I'm not. It's nothing like that. No, it's. it's well, I can't. We're, we're all sitting down. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Seatbelt on. Seatbelt on. Seatbelt on. No one facing each other. That's right. <laughs> uh, if you listen to us on iHeartRadio, we've got a whole bunch of new additions to the map. Uh, Victoria listens to the show in Bothell, Washington. That is suburban mm-hmm. Seattle. Shelby's a new bureau chief in Butte, Montana. Uh, Zach is in Cape Coral, Florida. Kim's in Nashville. Uh, Pam and Sharon listen in Grayson, Kentucky. And I heard from uh, Laura, who's a bureau chief in Madison, Florida. She said, uh, I think it's funny you chose a new No Mary Day to tell us about the squeezy salads. Because she would be... She'd be appalled like I was. Breaking my balls, yeah. Somebody else texted me, your jaw muscles are going to atrophy. I'm like, <laughs> you know I talk for a living, right? And uh, it's not like I don't eat food, but... If there are any shortcuts I can take throughout the day, right? Mm-hmm. That's it. Squeezy he, salad, baby. I think there's a lot of other shortcuts he could have taken. but Such as? I'm happy to hear them. What about just like a regular smoothie? You can just have it next to you and drink it. Somebody's, I got to stand there in line. Somebody makes it, pays for it. Why do I want to do that? I'm in here working. I bring one of these from home, right? Yeah. I got my salmon jerky, whole bit. Oh, yeah. Good salmon to go. Jerky. Don't forget about the salmon jerky. <laughs> She's like, oh, yeah, the salmon jerky. <laughs> I actually might be into that. I like jerky. I got, like yeah. beef jerky and stuff. Yeah. So why not try salmon jerky? The only jerky? problem with the jerky in general is the sodium. Yeah. What? And those are expensive. You like expensive snacks. Well, they're not snacks, Bridget. They're, oh, meals. they're meals. Thank mm-hmm. you. Well, the jerky is expensive. When I was traveling back uh, from family vacation. His body's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's a millionaire. He's richer than John True. Daly. He's, he got, he's got $3 Actually, million dollars in the bank. I, I don't even believe the $2 million. I think we might all be richer than John yeah, Daly. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> we might be. But I did. I went to the air, you know, the little convenience store in the airport, you know, kind of how I'm feeling now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A little starvation. The Hudson News. Yep. You know the one. And I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to get a healthier snack. And I thought beef jerky will be good. It was like $17.99 in the airport. I'm like, yeah. okay. Oh, that, right. that beef jerky is expensive is. anywhere. Though. Right. Yeah. But like you the can't... airport really jacks it up. M&M's the and cow jerky. Cutting it, like a cow could be cutting jerky off its own body and be like, this is $40. Yeah. Like, <laughs> jerky is always expensive. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay, never mind. I guess we're just going one with the Cheetos. Alan, in an interview during the Masters Tournament, somebody asked John Daly how he dealt with the pressure of being in the Masters Tournament, and he said Jack Daniels. It's a great answer. <laughs> See, mm-hmm. he's so he, like he's clever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thanks. And people know what they're getting now with John Daly. Yeah. Back in the day, when he was a younger man, it was oh, a scandal, this yeah. guy. Yeah. Oh, because golf is supposed to be so prim and proper right. and all right. this nonsense. Like, here comes this bull in a china shop. Now people are like, yeah, John Daly. Yeah, we love yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Like, honestly, I think that's, He's the main attraction of why people came to the golf tournament in Akron. Because they're happy you. and surprised, to your point, yeah. that he's alive. And yeah, see him while you can. And you just don't know what you're going to get from him. Yeah. Like, people were shocked. Like, we, we can watch him golf, and we can watch him get on stage and bust out a guitar and sing. And he mm-hmm. can tell me I have a sharp ass. Yeah. Right? <laughs> hey, Charlie. Yeah. What's up? Listen, uh, uh, am I live? You are. <laughs> so cool. Is this Alan? It is. Hey, thanks for taking my call. Listen, I was on YouTube, and I went to the live button, and you guys popped up, and I've been listening to your show, and I, I tried to do a little bit of research on who you guys are. So I'm basically a, a new listener. Hopefully I'm a fan. So I guess the female uh, person on your show, she's a stand-up uh, comedian, correct? She's out today, yes, but Mary Santora is part of this program, yep. We have someone yeah, filling yeah, yeah. in for so, her. Let me ask you a yeah, yeah. Are you more left-leaning or right-leaning? Well, right now, I'm kind of, the way I'm sitting, <laughs> uh, my posture is pretty good today. Okay. So I'm hey, kind no, of, no, no, I'm no, no, straight no, no. up well, in the stop, middle. Let's stop with the funny. Let's stop with the funny. Let's stop with the funny. Are you sir, left th- sir right? the funny never started. You need to wait until I start with the funny, Charlie. Thank you very much. You didn't do very <laughs> good research if you don't know which way Alan leans. <laughs> yeah. Tell me that's so not why you I called, I Charlie. Charlie. No, no, no! You, you, you're not gonna, you're not gonna beat me in this conversation. Are you? You're left leaning. Okay, correct? so Charlie, you called specifically to get into an argument, then. 
which is not very no, fun. That's no, not no, fun, no, no. Charlie. I, I, no, no. I, I, I did some research on you, and it seems like you're kind of left leaning. I went to your Twitter page. Where did it you? Seems like you're kind of left leaning. Left leaning. Yes, that that would be a fair assessment. Yes, I, I am a progressive politically. I'm a progressive person. Yes. First of all, you're a good-looking guy. You've got great hair. But why are you progressive? Why are you left-leaning? Well, what, what is it about it that says, you know what, I'm not a fan of what these, I guess, white people are doing, so I'm going to go this way. Why is that? How did you arrive at I'm not a fan of white people from being a progressive? Well, you know, most progressives, in my opinion, just the ones that I've met, they're so woke. And they've got this mentality like, you know, most of them are very white. They've had privileged suburban lifestyles. And they get to this age like, you know what, I feel really bad. I'm, I have this guilt complex, and I need to, I need to, I need to show that I, I, I feel for the blacks. Charlie, how old are you? Are, right? How old are you, Charlie? Let's, let, well, who, well, why does that matter? Charlie, we're having a conversation, all right? I'm taking the time to okay, answer I'm, your I'm, questions. I'm, 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 we can't I'm, do I'm, research I'm, on you. I can't do research I'm on you. I'm, I'm coming I'm at you off the I'm cuff. 40. I'm sorry? Okay, I'm 48. 48. Okay, 48. so you're, you're a few years younger than I am. Um, and how old are you? How old are you? How old I'm, are you? I'm 53 years old. Great hair. Dude, you're a good-looking guy. And I'm not even good-looking. Go ahead. Go ahead. Listen. Um, I was leaning left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I get hard for women, Charlie. Please. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know what to no, tell no, you. No, no, no. I'm not attracted to um, you. No, I like women as well. Charlie, saying, what well, is... Why um, oh, ahead, Charlie, how do, you, ahead, how do you, since you want to go down this road, how do you define woke? Well, first of all, it's a stupid word. Uh, you know, but you're a progressive, Well, right? but it does mean but something, and it has meant something for a long time, Charlie. It's been kind of perverted yeah, it, over it, the past okay, decade, I, okay, but... Here, it, here, what does it mean to you? You're probably going to hang up on me. What does it mean to you, Charlie? Um, woke to me means individuals probably younger in their twenties. There, there's something that, that they say. Listen, you know, I, you know, I don't even know. You know what? I can't articulate what woke means. Okay. I, well, we, we would need articulate. we would need to start there, Charlie, because you used the word. I didn't. So, can you tell me what woke means? Well, to me, it, it just means being aware of sensitivities and prejudice across the entire spectrum of discriminatory practices. To me, that's, you, that's a good you thing. A so I was having a conversation with, my, with one of my neighbors, massive liberal, and we were having this conversation. I asked her, I said, do you know what the definition of a, of a woman and a man is? And she looked at me like I was like a space alien, like there is no difference. Is there a difference between men and women? Charlie, you strike me as a guy who kind of unilaterally begins weird conversations with people just to get a reaction out of them, and you're not really looking for a back and forth. Is that a fair assessment? No, no, no. absolutely not. You just Go said ahead. you were talking to you, you. You just went in on your neighbor who I don't know what a massive liberal is. Uh, unless that's body shaming, Big but um, okay, is that Probably what like it is? Taylor yeah. Swift music. If you ask Bridget Linton, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Charlie, we got to make the show entertaining. <laughs> yeah, uh, I got to start with the funny. It's been uh, three hours mm -hmm. without Charlie. <laughs> I I'm going to move on to another caller, but I appreciate the call. Good luck with the neighbor. I know you are. Okay, thank you, uh, Charlie. Hey, Gaylord. All right, Charlie, hey. come back. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, oh, I bailed too soon. Oh, Gaylord, save us. Save us from this veil of tears, Gaylord. Well, I would like to say that Miss Bridget is looking beautiful as ever. Oh, and... good for you. <laughs> you can see her sharp ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. I did not say that, honestly. But... I would like to say thank you for taking my call, and I would like to say hi, Alan, and I want to say that this Saturday there is a special event mm -hmm. that uh, Mr. Squire has going, and... Oh, it's, it's old lady show. sex. It's old lady sex. Oh. Yeah. Old lady sex, right. That's what Gaylord's having Mr. on the <laughs> regular. <laughs> uh. Mr. Jeff Tate 
is going to be at the show, and I would like to say to the listeners, please go to this show and support uh, my friend. Boy, you couldn't ask for a better hype man than Gaylord, Bill. I'll tell you what, right? Oh, when look, it just sold out. When, Gay- <laughs> <laughs> when Gaylord's no. for you, ain't nobody can be against you. No, thank you, Gaylord. I'm very excited for the show this uh, Saturday, and I got that shirt ready for you. So I'll see you then. And, uh, yeah, if you want to come to the show, Jeff Tate's hilarious. I'm good. Uh, BillSquire.com for tickets. Thank you, Bill. Yeah. And... I love all of you, and you all have a great weekend. All right, you too, And Saturday is the day, gang. Come and chill. Don't miss uh, Bill's I'm bored. Thank you, Gaylord. I appreciate it. I'm the chairman of the board. I'll tell you what. You did sell it, didn't you? All, all that old lady I'm sex just went out the window with <laughs> Gaylord. <laughs> Man, yeah, that Charlie excited. call when he's like using the word woke and then you go define it and he's like, no, I can't. That's what everybody <laughs> says so when funny. they think woke so sucks. Funny. They're like, oh, I don't know. Okay, well, because we they don't s- want to say what it means. They're like, oh, I just don't like when. Well, I mean, yeah. listen, if he if he had a, an idea yeah. of what he was thinking, I was trying to get come where he was coming from, right. but you know, if and that's fa- where we're starting, we got nowhere to go. And my favorite thing you said was he just asks questions to get a reaction. Like, who would go up to someone, just a neighbor, and be like? So what's the difference between a man and a woman? Yeah, right. Like, it's just a random question to ask. But yeah. those are yes. the people, you know, those are the people who always start those kinds of yeah. conversations. And if you've ever right? seen Pure BS by Bill Squire, you'll know I define it quite well. <laughs> a woman can fold a fitted sheet. You know, I can fold a fitted sheet. I was quizzed on this recently. I can. Uh, (laughs) And you drink Uh, salads. I drink my salads, and I get nice, sharp corners on my fitted sheets. They are as sharp as Bridget's ass on my fitted sheets. (laughs) Don't forget, you also have great hair, and you're a really good-looking guy. Hey, look at that. (laughs) And that dude was younger than me. Yep. He sounded. He said it not once, but maybe three times. He sounded. You're a good-looking guy. you got great hair. His attitude is older than me. Mm -hmm. He sounded older than me. He doesn't have your hair. Nobody's got my hair. True. Wait, come on. What are you talking about? True, true. Wait, this is a, a good group of hair right now, actually. Right, yeah. I Yours, agree. Bill Squire yeah, over yeah, there, I, right? My, my hair ain't nothing to sneeze at. Right. Nope. Right. Good the, group here. Salty peppers over here. <laughs> salty peppers. <laughs> not Bridget. She's 26. Her, no, not a gray hair to be seen. Nope. Not salt no and way. peppers. Yeah. Salty peppers. Uh-huh. <laughs> that was my nickname in college. Uh yeah, that's one of those ones that went over my head. Yeah. Ellen, no, why does that guy have a problem with people laughing? <laughs> I don't know. It was this very strange way to come at it, though, you know? Yeah. I just found you guys yeah. on YouTube, yeah. Yeah. started digging into who you are and what you're about. Yeah, all right. Oh, now we're I think his main attention was going to go after Mary, and then once she wasn't on the show, yeah. he's like, all right, Alan, you're up. I saw your Twitter, too. Yeah, but I'm, I don't tweet. Yeah. I'm on Twitter maybe, like, it's mostly a news aggregator for me. Yeah. I might retweet a couple things. Maybe that's what he's talking about. Mm. Uh, it's been, like, a year since I've tweeted, a tw- written a tweet. See, Couldn't I kind of have time. to be on Twitter because it's a, a lot of people a lot of sports use that. Yeah, I like get their it. Sports yeah. News. But my thought that these days on social media is if I don't have to, why do I, I yeah. won't. Right, yeah. I won't. Yeah. I mean, it's not. I'm not making money off of it. He's, right. Like, he's calling us racist and woke. Uh, and it's like, well, you got to make up your mind. <laughs> mm, and so yeah. it's not a podcast it is a radio show radio show that is podcast Podcasting. elsewhere um you're 48 you should know the difference hey do you want to talk to mary santorum let's since go. mary santora let's, is yeah. out hey mary santorum <laughs> hello alan this is mary santora hey mary santorum <laughs> what's the difference between a man and a woman <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Bill. I, <laughs> don't ask me that question. <laughs> uh, we should have put him in touch with Charlie. Yeah. Put her in touch with Charlie. Oh, sorry. Yes, Mary, how are you? Alan, Alan, I just wanted to call and tell you that I really want to be on the Fandango cruise, and I will do anything to get tickets. And when I say anything, I mean anything. <laughs> yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Butt chug? <laughs> She's warming up to it. 
You don't even want to know what I had to go through last year to get tickets. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. let's, just, let's just let's just say it involved my butt. <laughs> oh boy! Yeah, yeah. butt trucks normally do. <laughs> oh no, that wasn't that was what you had to do. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Alan, Alan, Alan! I was excited to hear the Fandango Cruise is going to be on the Good Time Three because I actually got my comedic start on the Good Time One, opening for Gallagher Two. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I'm, you know, I'm terrible at math, Mary, so. <laughs> Alan, Alan, he was smashing walleye. It was disgusting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was covered in chum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you were. I think there's an extra, Alan, I think there's an extra consonant in there. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> Alan, Alan, I also christened the good time, too, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I do know what you mean, yes. <laughs> well, she's all I over. This is the- Mary Santorum, boy. She can't be stopped. <laughs> Alan, Alan, the real reason I called is because I wrote a little jingle about the Fandango cruise. Would you like an example? Oh, boy, I really would. This is what I wait for when you call, Mary. <laughs> Okay, it goes with the theme from the love boat, just so you know. Okay, it goes like this. Fun, exciting, and new. Come aboard. We're expecting you on the Fandango. Da-da-da. Sea condoms and tampons floating by <laughs> Fandango. Da, da, da. Don't go in the water, you'll get pink eye. <laughs> They'll be eating and drinking and sex in the port side, Lou. <laughs> Cause fun never hurt anyone. Let's get drunk. In the afternoon sun <laughs> on Fandango, da, da, da. we can go fishing for walleye. Fandango, da, da, da. if we go down, just try not to die. You'll meet Mary and Alan and William and Mattitude. And hopefully Pound Cake and Bridget will be there, too. <laughs> Aboard Captain Fun. Dun, 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 fun. It's going to be fun. <laughs> dun, 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 <laughs> oh. That was wonderful. This, this she woman. She usually 10 minutes. Yeah, this woman. <laughs> I'll tell you what. This Mary Santorum, she cannot be stopped. Wow. How about that? Well, to Mary, I can't thank you enough. What a, what a, what a fitting uh, way to send off our cruise next month. Oh, thank you, thank you. And thank you for taking my call and letting me perform my craft. You know I appreciate it. And I'll see all of you on the cruise in a few weeks. And Bridget, just so you recognize me, I'll be the six-foot-four blonde with the gigantic Adam's <laughs> apple. <laughs> Cannot wait. All right, thank you, Mary. Bye. It's good to be Bill Squire. It always feels right when he's in the spotlight. Oh, that Mary Santorum. She is a treasure. I'm a, I'm a fan. Yeah. Man. Beautiful. All right. Um, <laughs> it was about 10 minutes long, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. I've got to take a break here. I will have tickets for you if you want to go see The Ghost Inside. These guys are back on the road. I think they've been gone for a minute. Uh, two hours to midnight. MMS, our metal show, presenting this show um, in December the 11th at the Agora, the Ghost Inside and the Searching for Solace Tour. I'll have those tickets for you as soon as we get back. And then 530 is going to be the last chance to 